a Titan reciprocating saw, told it was broken, TTB 533RSP, let's plug it in, on, I thought it, thought it did chooch before, nothing, I'm not getting anything out of it now, I thought this was working. Right, well, we may start with the fuse, because maybe there's no fuse in it. That feels loose. So I think there's just a little pin that's broken between the motor and the uh, shaft, but I don't know why this is loose. No, there's no fuse in it. Why have I taken out the fuse? That's peculiar. I'm sure it's never going to work without a fuse. Let's put in a fuse and see what happens. Maybe I borrowed it for something else. I have no memory of that, you know. Weird. Must be getting old. On... Right, so it works, but the blade's not doing anything. Good. I mean, at least we've got a problem that we can understand. I think to get this bit off, I have to take off the handle to get screws in here. That's what I'm guessing. So I'll do that and uh, take these screws out and come back. All right, these things are out, but let's see about taking this one out as well while I'm here. It looks like this should unscrew. Not quite hot, there's a lot of heat on that shaft there. Okay, well that handle's loose, so let's get that off if I can. Okay. Am I right? I don't know that I am right. Unless the screws are way off down inside. I don't see screws there. That's a bit there's a crack in the plastic there from rough handling. I don't know if I'm gonna be bothered fixing this, you know. Well, there's a couple of Allen screws here. Let's take them out because I don't see anything else to do. Titan. I don't know where Titan comes from. Is it B&Q or somewhere like that? It's missing the rivet on that side of the, the face guide or whatever you'd call it. Saw guide? Blade guide? What a weird design. It doesn't seem to have any way of taking it apart. You can kind of peel back that plastic. I don't think it wants to. I'm just pulling out this metal piece here. Got like plugs there to stop the Allen keys falling out, the Allen screws. There. there seems to be a lot of flex in this black plastic which does make me think it's just a cover somehow and that if we could tap it off we might It is, you see, it is moving off. This is this wild. That is remarkable. Okay, so what am I stuck on? Take all that away just like that. Then we've got the screws holding the front on. Never seen anything like that. So I didn't need to take the handle apart. That gets the top off. There's the motion. And 
that's just broken. It just needs a weld, I'd say. If I could put a weld on it, I presume it's just steel, so it might be possible. Let's take this cover off. That's well, well scrapped in. If I weld it in situ, I'll only get a weld on one side. It looks like this piece of flat steel here went up into the bar by half an inch or 10 mil, something like that. So I don't want to take those bits off because uh, if I take them off, I might weld it without them. And that wouldn't be right. So now I've got this guy stuck here and that's no good. What am I going to do about that? I could dremel it. Put a slot in it. Try a different screwdriver. Try posy. No. It's not a posy drive. I could try a vice grips. I only need to overcome the initial in the wayness. It occurred to me that if I'm welding it, it'd be easier to align it if I had the thing still on. So I'm just looking at taking the blade off to make my life a bit easier. Funny that you just hammer the plastic off to get in. That's quite bizarre. There's something in here that's rusted up solid, I think. So what I'll do is I'll get that circlip off and then I'll try hitting it. I think I think it should like retract slightly, but there's also a circlip in underneath there as well. So I'm not entirely sure what I'm talking about. Let's just park that one there. Yeah, there is a spring. So I think this should should tappy tap down. Must be something that makes it lock. So for now, I'll just put this on. Let that work its way in, and we'll try and get a bit of weld on this gas welder, I think. to jack it up a little bit or tip it down or something. Plastic there's gone on fire. Why am I not getting any rush heat up on this thing? I had a number 10 tip in it, way too big. Try it with a number three. Should have paid attention to that. A lot of heat gone in there. Let's see if I can't open this now. There we go, the heat has helped. So that's how it looks. The front is still hot, but the rest of it's cooled down a bit. And I wonder am I not particularly straight there? It looks like it's a little bit off. Oh, that's straight now. <laughs> the weld is only tiny on it. So I need to get a bit of heat into it. I can try number five. And if I could get this fellow off, that would be better. 
So there's some kind of a spring and I suspect this has to tap back. I would like that to be off before I weld it really. There it's loosening. Oh no, it's just the plastic, is it? Oh, it's off. Okay, whatever that did. So I better get my clips back on then. So that I don't lose them. And it doesn't fall apart when I'm in the process. So you just twist it and it unlocks somehow. There must be some kind of a pin inside. Right, welding. Let's get a number five tip then. Next one out of the blocks. Great. So in the end, I couldn't get the heat into it, so I put a blast of arc weld on this side and certainly blew a hole, blew the side straight off it. I think this metal is not straightforward steel. Uh, I hope I haven't welded up too far there because it's. I might have to. I'll put it in and see if it goes, but I might have to uh, file a bit of that back. If it goes that far, although the the range is probably only that far. So let's try and get it back together. I've put the handle back together already. I've cooked all of that grease nicely. What does this come out? Oh, there's a little needle bearing, roller bearing even. This is basically an angle grinder by the looks of things. An angle grinder boss or something similar. So I wonder does that just lift out? Because if it does, then I can properly grease it. Oh, there's the bearing pin. Now, so can I can get a grip on here then. Nothing, probably. Oh, there's, a, there's another nut on there. I jam that. What can I jam it with? It's turning, but I don't like it. Urgh. I'm not entirely sure what it's turning into. I'm trying to unscrew it. There's a cover there. Let's have a look under the cover. First. Yeah, it's just a... It appears to be what I want. There's a bearing there. It looks in good order, so if I can get that out grease all over my arm, put a bit of grease in behind it because I've cooked whatever was there. It's just a very tight fit, it's coming out. Of course the risk is that you wring it off in these situations, but well, it hasn't, so I'm quite fretting over it if it hasn't happened. There we go. Right. Yeah, that grease all looks a bit, a bit cooked, I'd say. Better give this a clean off and uh, pack some more grease in. So I've given it a bit of a clean up, nothing spectacular. I've got a bit of grease here. This is just the cheapest lithium grease. It's not the right stuff for this, but uh, this is what I've got. This is what I've got, so this is what's going in. What I will say about this, I haven't taken this much apart, is that the um, the bearings that they've used on this fellow are actually pretty good. Don't want these to fall out, but I do want to get a bit of grease in between them. There we go. They're pretty good bearings. Um, they're, they're, they're pretty good in that they're repairable. It had a bit of Loctite on it, so it should surely want a bit more, but I'm not putting it on it. I jammed that up with the screwdriver. There we go, that's tight. Now, how does this guy go back together? sit like that. So I need to get some grease into them somehow. So does that give me enough travel on here? Because that's the bit I'm kind of fussing about. Mm. Let's put the Allen key in and give it a twist. So 
goes back okay. It is binding a little bit there, but I think it'll wear itself in. It's just binding on there a little bit, but yeah, grease will, grease will fix that, I reckon. I'm not sure are they just for dust those seals there on the front and the back so I'll put a bit of oil on them it won't hurt them I'll get some more screws into it that's the one that's stripped out but I don't think I'm ever going to see it again so I'm going to put it back in put it in up the front I think it'll have enough purchase to tighten it Great practice doing that, but you know, I don't care. Where's the other screw? There's one missing now. There it is on my magnet. So, this is the shield, the only shield on the front here covering all this. I think they're made out of some variety of soft, soft cheese. That screws back in. This cover went on here. This cover just hammers on and this thing somehow hammers into it which is most bizarre so if I put that on there somehow I have to get everything else on with it I'll try doing it this way I don't know which way is right so that's it it's just on I could hit it with the hammer but like it's as on as it was before now this guide is broken, so it really needs a rivet in there. So I tried riveting it and that was a waste of time. So what I've got here is an incredibly rusty little nut and bolt and that will get it out. And it has a nylon locking nut on it, which is probably a bit dead at this point, but let's just tighten that in and that should hold it steady. It came off a bicycle, I'd say. Back it off a turn. That'll do. That'll get it going. That'll do. Alright, so somehow this goes together now. I think we're just two screws left to go and then we should be at it. in like that and this one goes in on top of it and somehow snaps in maybe it doesn't maybe it's just kind of held in position with those screws that was that's one way of fixing things in and so then this guy goes in here i guess and it has the screws have these plastic caps on them so they have to kind of be forced in a bit i guess i don't know that i'm making any progress there this one's going in one's in. I'll back it off so I can tell if the other one's gone in. That is, they're both going in, okay. A lot of the repair videos on YouTube, they focus on, you know, repairing it by putting in new parts. And the reality is that, depending on where you are and what means you've got, you don't want to buy new parts. I know I don't, especially on something like this. I don't want to spend 20 quid on a new um, in and out dealie. Right, that blade's a little bit bent. 
Let's just help it back into position. Yeah, much of a muchness. Right, this should go in like that. If I twist this, it just lets it in. If I twist it, it lets it out. So there must be a pin or something in there, right? It doesn't have any volume control on it, so it's just a straightforward cutty. Oh, when I put the handle back together, I didn't put that rubber protector in properly. That can happen off camera. Right. Oh, what a horrible tool. Well, this piece is already here, so I'll chop the end off it. If it'll do it. Let's try. This is not a test at all, this piece of wood, but let's just see what it does on wood with the wrong blade. I'm hoping it just licks straight through it. So a Titan, what did I call it? TTB 533 RSP reciprocating saw. That's a horrible thing. That's just horrible. Like they're so cheaply made. They have a combination of like crappy exterior, but some decent parts inside. Like, like I said, those bearings on that bit, they'd be really easy to replace if you could get into it comfortably. And you know, if you knew what you were doing, you'd take out the blade, you'd take out those two screws, you'd hit this with a hammer up here until it fell off, and then you'd be in in one more screw or maybe a few more. You'd get those bearings out, no bother. Uh, brushes are probably in there somewhere. I didn't, I don't remember looking, but was the brushes on each side here and here? You know, just take off the handle and you're at them. Like eminently repairable, but somehow you'll never get parts for it. So maybe you will, maybe Titan have great parts, I don't know, but I have a feeling they don't. So there you go, Titan reciprocating saw. I don't need you and that's where we are in life. But I've wasted an hour and a half of my day getting something going that wasn't going before. And I would, you'd have to pay to take that thing away. Right, questions or comments, leave them below. Thanks for watching. See you later.